Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games, where we cover everything LEGO gaming. In this video, we're going to be talking about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and the massive backlash from the fans after the Future Game Show event. So if you're not in the know, if you haven't been following my channel, the Future Game Show was this big event hosted by GamesRadar.com, and it happened on March 25th, the evening of March 25th. We were all expecting LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga to be there, and it did not show up at all. There was no mention of the game whatsoever, which is uh, kind of shocking. They never told us... 100% for certain that the game was going to be there, but every bit of evidence suggested that the game was going to be there, except that for them outright saying it, so it's completely reasonable to be surprised that the game wasn't there, especially since we've now gone about seven months without news for this game. So the last time we got news for this game was on August 27th of 2020 for Gamescom 2020, that was the gameplay trailer, and uh, during this trailer, at the end, they delayed the game till spring 2021, and we are now in spring 2021, so it is perfectly reasonable to expect, especially at this event, which they told us WB Games was going to be there, which is the company that owns TT Games, um, it's perfectly reasonable to expect that uh, LEGO Star Wars would show up. And it did not, and the fans are not happy about it. And uh, we, I do want to talk about Back for Blood a little bit. That is another game from WB Games. We're going to be looking at their Twitter account here. So, so just today, on the day of the Future Game Show event, Back for Blood actually tweeted out before the event here, uh, Turtle Rock Studios is working hard to make Back for Blood the best game it can possibly be at launch. And the team needs more time to do this, therefore we will release Back for Blood on October 12th. Uh, so basically they're announcing a delay of the game. Originally that game was supposed to be coming out on June 22nd. Now why am I talking about Back for Blood? Well, it's owned by WB Games, so the marketing is done by WB Games, the same company. And uh, it's interesting how they came out with that statement announcing the delay, because if you go back here on the official LEGO Star Wars Twitter accounts, LEGO Star Wars game, this has got the blue check mark. Uh, let's go back to August 27th when the game was delayed. And uh, you'll see there's no tweets whatsoever here announcing any sort of delay like that. Because before this, it was said that the game was coming out in sometime in 2020. And then at the end of this uh, you know, trailer, which we already know about this, the end of the August 27th trailer, uh, they just kind of snuck in that it was coming out spring 2021. No mention of the delay at all. And, you know, they didn't even really say it was delayed. It just said spring 2021. They, they didn't mention that they changed the date from the previous trailer. So... Uh, you know, it's not a big deal, but it is telling that they didn't even announce the delay. But for Back for Blood, WB Games does announce the delay with, uh, you know, that little statement. So, uh, it, to me, it shows that WB Games does not seem to care about marketing for uh, the LEGO games. I don't know if they just think they're not as big of a deal. I know most of the time they probably aren't as big as a lot of WB Games' other titles, but they have to realize LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is their biggest game ever. So it makes sense that the hype is going to be higher for this one than ever, and therefore they need to market this game better than they've ever done before for a LEGO title. And you can even see here on the Back for Blood Twitter account, you can see constant tweets, like there's at least tweets, at least one or two every week. Uh, let's go back here to the LEGO Star Wars account. Uh, the last tweet was September 4th, so, you know, about six plus months ago now. And before that, it was in June. Before that was in May, so that there's like one tweet every couple months on average and really there hasn't been a tweet in the past six months now so uh, it's a pretty much a dead account look at this they even have this link here this is the official twitter account for lego star wars let's look at the link let's go to the website oh wait it's a dead link this site can't be reached so yeah they even have a broken link on their twitter account that shows how much wb cares about this game uh so let's look at what the fans are saying so if we actually search up lego star wars on twitter this is right after the event uh, the future game show event where it didn't show up it says uh, me and others thinking they are going to reveal any new information about Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga at the future game show event and of course it's got the oh, the clown meme playing there uh, let's see what else people are saying all we wanted today was something even if it was a new delay I would like TT Games and the tie men to understand that but or I guess they meant TT Games not sure what he meant there uh, but they prefer to be silent I guess they meant people in suits uh, when they say tie men uh, 90 minute show and no LEGO Star Wars, not sure what's going on with that anymore, 6 months since the last update. Uh, so yeah, people are not happy about this, disappointed and outright fuming there was no announcement of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on the future game show tonight, even telling us it is delayed again would have been better than nothing. That's true. You know, all they had to do was similar to Back for Blood, they could have just um, issued a statement, but they're probably not even going to do that. If the game gets delayed again, they're probably just going to release a trailer. And at the end, it's just going to have a new date. They won't even uh, uh, won't even imagine it. So this person says, who thinks LEGO Star Wars is going to get delayed? Uh, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I'll just say yes. 
And uh, there you go. 81% of people say yes. Uh, let's see what else people are saying. Uh, do you think we haven't seen much LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga because they were struggling to make the sequel, tr <laughs> sequel trilogy episodes enjoyable? Uh, that is great. That just shows what people think of Disney Star Wars as well. That's not something I really talk about on this channel, but it is kind of funny. And uh, so that's all the tweets here. I'm convinced LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga was canceled, and you guys should be too. Uh, it's definitely not canceled. So here we're just scrolling down some more. Uh, here we have from Jacob Ember. I've honestly never seen a game as mismanaged as LEGO Star Wars and Skywalker Saga. The game was announced in the summer of 2019, was delayed to the spring of 2021 with almost no news in between. You know, we kind of understand that with this whole COVID situation, the game is going to get delayed, but at least they could communicate better. Like, it's just kind of crazy how we're now in spring 2021 and we still have no information about this game. Uh, it's it's getting a bit ridiculous. Now for the last part of this video, I do want to turn to Reddit to get some more people's reaction here. This is a future game show mega thread on the official LEGO Star Wars video game Reddit. A uh, link to all this stuff will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, so let's look at the, let's look what people are saying about the game not being there. So that was two hours. I'm not going to get back. <laughs> I understand that patience is a virtue. It's a virtue. I try my best to live by that Sad. It's absolutely infuriating. Uh, we've heard absolutely nothing about this game since it was delayed late last year. De delayed it to spring 2021. And here we are in spring 2021 with no news. This game has been handled on the community and social media side of things. is an absolute joke or the way this game has been handled. Uh, delayed again if you have to, but just tell us something. That's exactly, that's all we want is just some better communication. Uh, so this is a bit uh, different uh, of a video here. I just wanted to show people's comments. You know, there is massive backlash over this game not showing up here. Now, you know, people will say, you know, they never said anything. We shouldn't have got our hopes up. But as I said before, it's completely logical to think that this game is going to show up. I mean, after all, this game is supposed to come out in about two and a half months. If you follow like the spring calendar, with them saying it's coming out in the spring, so it's completely unheard of for them not to market this game at all when this game is this close, and the fact that we knew they were going to be at this event, and they decided to market Back for Blood, which is a game that comes out in October, but they don't market their game that's supposedly coming out in like May or June, so it's completely ridiculous. Hopefully WB Games will uh, start marketing this game. Uh, I do want to say don't get mad at TT Games or any of the devs or anything like that on Twitter. They have no... Uh, connection to the marketing. They're strictly just making the game, developing it, making it the best it can be. They do not market the game or promote it. They're not allowed to do any of that. Uh, that's all up to WB Games, so it's really uh, <laughs> their problem here. So let me know what you think about all this. Did you think the game was going to show up? Were you disappointed that it didn't? Uh, did you think it was perfectly logical like me that it would show up there? Or do you think, ah, we shouldn't have got our hopes up? Maybe it'll show up later. Um, yeah, it is looking like this game's going to get delayed. Uh, I'm not going to say that for sure yet. I'm going to give it a couple more weeks because they could still begin marketing the game like next week or the week after, and they could still probably get it out by uh, the end of spring, but we'll have to wait and see. They're running out of time. It's looking like a delay is uh, going to be around the corner anytime now, but we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned for that. I'll be sure to make a video if we get any more news about the game from WB Games or TT Games. Subscribe, be notified right when all the latest news on this game comes out. I do walkthroughs and other things as well. And uh, again, comment everything you think about this. So I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.